Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on The Devil You Know, starring Omar Epps as a, I think he's an ex-con or an ex-drug addict pulled back into the life of crime. Pretty classic. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 8 available at Amazon.com. Kindle Unlimited is free. So Omar gets out of prison and uh, his dad gets him a job driving a bus. He gets a girlfriend. His life's coming back online. But his brother, nah, he's going the other way. And his brother gets in over his head. And uh, next thing you know, the cops are sniffing around. People, bodies start dropping. His girlfriend leaves him because she doesn't want to be involved. Um, this actor, God, what the heck is he from? I think he played the android in that sci-fi show that was on FX. I forget what it was called. It was, it was a decent show. Um, anyhow, he plays a cop who's trying to help the family and solve his case, but really it's just going to get the family in more and more trouble. Um, so, yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't look good. It's a classic story, and you, you can tell from the title, The Devil You Know. So it's better, better to go with The Devil You Know than The Devil You Don't. So this is Omar probably being pulled back into a life of crime because he had no other choice to save his brother and save his family. Um, so, and, and never cross family. So there's a line in here. He keeps asking him if he talked to the cops. Did he betray his family? I don't think so. Um, this actor, where is he from? God, I know him. I know his voice. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah, it, it's it's a crime story. Like a low-level crime story. It takes place in L.A. There's Omar. And um, here they go after his dad. I mean, it's, it's brutal. Pretty brutal. Um, I think in the end, he gets draw, drawn back into a life of crime in order to save his family. Which is, you know, it's a classic, right? It's what The Godfather was about, essentially. That's the, that's the exact plot of The Godfather. Michael is completely out of the family business. He knows what it is. But he's forced to, he's drawn into it because, you know, his brother, he's a hothead. He's not really good at it. Michael's the smart one. He's He was supposedly the honest one, but... Um, so it's a classic story. Classic story. Yeah, and you've got all these different dramatic moments and ties, right? It's not just they're in a crime syndicate. They're family. He's trying to go straight. The brother is probably stuck and maybe he owes guys money or whatever. So first act, Omar gets out of prison or out of rehab. Uh, he's getting his life together. His dad gets him a job. He gets a girlfriend. Everything's going great. But in the background, you got his brother. He's just sort of simmering back there. Uh, up to no good. Still still involved in stuff. Maybe it's low level, but, you know, there's no such thing as low level crime when you get right down to it. Uh, once you're in crime, you're in crime. It's kind of really hard to get out. That's what people don't understand. That's what a lot of people don't understand. They think they could just do a crime and then, ah, that's it. I'm done. I made my money. I'm good. No, that's not the way it works. Once you get in, a lot of times you get caught. You don't know what you're doing. You know, it's just like anything else. It takes a while to understand how it works. And then when you understand how it works, you realize that only certain people make money. Yeah, in the criminal underworld, there's even worse of a hierarchy <laughs> where you can't rob places or commit certain crimes unless you pay a street tax. And then you realize, wow, you know, I thought I was going to make $100,000, but really, after you add up all my overhead, I'm just barely scraping by. Yeah, so... Uh, second act, um, his brother probably gets in, arrested or in trouble in some way. Cops investigating. Uh, somebody dies, I think, and that was in the trailer. And now they're looking at the family. They're looking at his brother. They're looking at him. Uh, they're getting threatened. They're getting arrested. The cops are showing up. Oh, God, it's on the tip of my tongue who that other actor is and what he was in before. I remember Sons of Anarchy. That's where I've seen him from. Oh, I 
forget the actor's name. It's this guy. Uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, that's him. Let me see if I can find him. He is the Sons of Anarchy guy who played a guy. He had like a mohawk and a tattoo on his head. And uh, the plot with his character is he was in a motorcycle gang. And they were all white, but he was, he was like slightly darker skin. But what they didn't know was he was really half black. And that was his terrible secret because in a motorcycle gang, that could be a real problem. Yeah, this guy. Wow, he looks totally different. I knew I recognized the voice, though. Wow, he's got, see, in the Sons of Anarchy, he had a mohawk and a tattoo on his head. Um, didn't have facial hair. Huh, that's funny. He looks so different. He looks smaller in this. In Sons of Anarchy, he looked like a huge guy. Maybe this guy's just really big standing next to him. Um, so you can see how people, how actors tend to get typecast, right? He's playing another kind of scumbag, um, you know. Omar, well, he's he's the he's the lead, so the, 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 there's a little more flexibility when you're a lead guy. But um, the actor who formerly was the android who plays the cop, I think his android character was a cop too. So, you know, that's how actors kind of get typecast. That's how they can get more work. They're good at playing certain roles. They have the look of certain roles. He does look like a cop, you know. He looks pretty much like he did on that show, minus the android makeup. Um, and then finally, in the third act, eh, these movies can go either way. I mean, a lot of times it's a tragic ending. That's the classic ending. The tragic ending would be he goes back to crime. Uh, Omar goes back to crime, and he's better at it than he ever was, and that's where he really belongs, because the devil you know. Um... The truly tragic ending is he goes back to crime, doesn't save his family, and dies or goes to prison anyway. And he did it all for nothing. Um, you know, or it's a, maybe it's a, a super duper triple betrayal where really his brother set everything up to draw him back into the life of crime because he knew, uh, you know, he wanted to, he, he didn't like his brother being better than him. And maybe he set it up from the beginning just to get his brother back into the life, like something really petty like that. And now his life is destroyed and he realizes it and then maybe he kills his brother at the end out of anger. I mean, there's all sorts of ways this can end. But usually it's a tragedy, you know? It's usually a tragedy. I mean, that that's the kind of ending, um, you know, a great drama usually ends. So, a lot of ways this could go. A lot of ways this can go. Uh, seems to be a pretty good cast, though. Um, seem to have, you know, a lot of different characters here. There's Omar and the cop. Um, yeah, and then, you know, a, a happy ending is he gets in, he saves his family, maybe he goes to jail for a while, or maybe he goes back to crime, but at least he saved his family, or he saves his family from his brother. I prefer more positive endings. I like endings where a character like this, maybe he outmaneuvers everybody, and in the end, he gets away with everything. He does go back to a life of crime, turns 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 certain forces against each other, and they they sort of cancel each other out, and he saves his family. Maybe he has to sacrifice his brother in the process, but in the end, he realizes there's no other choice. Either way, there's going to be a bit of a dark ending here. I don't think it's going to be completely happy. No, I don't think there's an ending where Omar, you know, saves his brother, gets him out of crime, and they just go on to live happily ever after. Nah, I don't think that that's the way this could end. So, uh, would I see it? Yeah, probably. Michael Ely, that might be the guy on the right, I think. I think that is his name. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think this would be decent. I mean, it definitely has a classic setup. Solid cast. They seem very comfortable in the roles. Uh, looks like you're going to get some action and, you know, level crime, low-level street crime kind of action. Very realistic, grounded. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'd like to see this. When's this coming out? This is Lionsgate. Full disclosure, I think I have like one stock in Lionsgate, or two stock in Lionsgate. Uh, it's not doing very well, by the way. 
<laughs> so hopefully hopefully this movie will will shoot it up. Come on, guys, make a decent movie, will you? Um, yeah, I don't know when the hell this is coming out. Um, so maybe uh, the devil you know. Oh, April first. Oh, I did know. April first. See the theaters. Oh, okay. So good. Getting a theatrical release. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. And we'll see you tomorrow.